Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the strategic management process. A process is something where the particular elements of it are undertaken in a sequence over the time. When the first element is over or when the first action is accomplished, then the next action begins. That is a process. So strategic management is also a process. It is a dynamic one. It uh, has got no beginning or end because uh, there is close interaction of different phases. The model of the strategic management process will better explain how this interaction works. The model of the strategic management process. The first step is establishing strategic intent, which is followed by environmental analysis and organizational analysis, on the basis of which the organization sets the long term objectives. And then comes Identification of the alternative strategies, which is followed by choice of strategy. And then comes the implementation of this chosen strategy. And then strategy evaluation and control. And the last step is feedback. And after the feedback is received, then it is rectifying the errors. That is, if there is any discrepancy in strategy implementation, it has to be re-implemented. Or if any rectification is required in the case of choosing a strategy, then reformulate the strategy. Sometimes there may be changes required in the objectives. In that case, reset the objectives. So this is the model of a strategic management process, which is explained in detail in this video. The first step in strategic management process is the establishing of strategic intent. All the organizations must have some specific intent or what they will achieve in the future and why they should achieve it. In strategic management, this specific intent or intention is called strategic intent and consists of three major elements as vision, mission and objectives. It is uh, arranged in a hierarchy in that order. Here the vision means what an organization should be in the future. And mission is the purpose that sets it apart from other organizations, the, the specific mission of an organization. And it, uh, this mission also identifies the scope of its operation. And the objectives forms the end results of the organization. What should be the end results of the organization? The second one is environmental analysis. The organization is a social system and it operates within the environment and the environment consists of many factors like society, competitors, employees, customers, technology, legal framework, political frameworks, cultural frameworks, etc. And an organization has to interact continuously with these factors and in this interaction process, the organization has to relate itself with the environment. Various factors in the environment has got effect on the working of the organization and hence the environmental analysis is of utmost importance in the strategic management process. Various types of environmental analysis have to be done. The general environment has to be analyzed on the whole and the industry has to be analyzed. The competitive uh, strategies of other firms also have to be analyzed and the environmental threat and opportunity profile has to be created by an organization. The organizational analysis consists of analyzing the strength and weakness of an organization so that 
it can emphasize its strength and overcome its weaknesses it also helps in identifying the relevant environmental factors that have got impact on the organization if the organization is strong the environmental factors will not much affect the organization but if the organization is weak the environmental factors will have a more important effect on the organization that may be detrimental and hence analysis of organization is very important the strategic opportunities and threats are determined on the basis of both environmental analysis as well as organizational analysis the next step is identification of strategic alternatives different types of strategies are available for an organization to choose it may be stability strategy or growth strategy or retrenchment strategy or uh, more than one strategies may be used as a combination so the organization has to analyze different aspects and choose one among these alternatives identified the choice of a strategy means choosing one strategy among the strategic alternatives identified it is a strategic decision making process and the all factors relevant for decision making are relevant here too a particular strategy has got an effect on the organizational operation in some manner and hence the uh, choice process systematically considers how each alternative strategy affects the various critical factors of the organizational functioning the chosen alternative should be the most acceptable one in the light of the organizational objectives the next step is strategy implementation mere selection or choice of a strategy is not enough as it will not affect the organizational activities and it will not help in the achievement of objectives so the strategy chosen must be successfully implemented and the strategy implementation includes structural implementation behavioral implementation functional implementation etc and it is discussed in detail in another video the strategic control may be considered as the last stage of strategic management process it is an ongoing process and it should be taken as the process for future course of action for effective implementation and achievement of organizational objectives it is necessary that there is continuous monitoring of the implementation of the strategy so that uh, suitable actions may be taken whenever something goes wrong the strategic control is discussed in detail in the other video this is the end of this video thank you for watching the video for more videos subscribe the channel and click the bell icon